Well, about six weeks ago, it might have been six weeks ago, I did a video saying uh, which turkey is going to make it to Christmas. And I, I was guessing that the, the one that you eat on Christmas Day is probably going to make it and uh, Eric Ten Hayes wasn't. Needless to say, uh, there is only uh, one turkey is going to make it uh, to Christmas. And it's not Eric Ten Hayes because finally, finally he's been sat. And of course, as you've probably been aware, I've been uh, suggesting uh, more than once since probably uh, for about 18 months now that he should have gone a long time ago. And um, all I've had at that time is, oh, give him more time, give him more time, you know, oh, you, you, go, you can't blame, you've got to blame the glaciers. I'm going, I don't think so. They're giving him the money to buy the players that he wants to construct a team to play the style of football that he wants us to play. Um, so, and then, of course, we got uh, Sir Jim that came in. Now then, now then. Uh, and he doesn't seem to have fixed it. In fact, he seems to have got worse. Um so, uh, yeah, bizarre, bizarre. Um, yeah, so I didn't see all of the game yesterday. I, I watched the first off, then I had to go down to a gig in England. And it was only later on that evening, watched the match of the day, that I, I saw that, funny enough, we'd lost yet again. Um, and, yeah, at the end of the day, is he was given so much money, so much more time than I think other managers have to buy the plays he wanted to play, and we still didn't get any better. He seemed to be hoovering ex-Ajax, uh, Ajax players, or Dutch players. We ended up, um, we've not gone double Dutch, we've gone like uh, more than quadruple Dutch. And um, no improvement at all. And somebody did say, well, if we, if we get somebody in now, is that going to improve our scoring ratio? Well, maybe it will. But the end of the day is... The players that were now missing all over the place, he brought them in. He brought them in. So, uh, and we're doing training, allegedly. Um, so, yeah, at the end of the day, sorry, the, the manager at the end of the day, the book stops with him or starts with him or ends with him or whatever. But at the end of the day is he brings his players in. They play a style of football which he wants them to play. And, yes, there are going to be... Uh, personal mistakes on the pitch which may cost us but there's you should always at the end of that day you know be able to address that to be able to counter a, a mistake that's led to a goal but instead in the case of us you know we, we go behind and uh not there isn't a follow-up because our our uh our attempts and goals are so so poor um and he's got to be responsible He's brought these players in. I don't know what they're doing in training. Uh, maybe we'll see a difference now. You know, it's the it's the age-old question. Uh, not long ago, it came up with another one of our managers. And it was, could a different manager come in and get better results with the players who were at United at the time? Not, 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 not the last manager. And, of course, then you go, yeah, probably, yeah. So I'm sure at the end of the day, is with the, the, the players who are there presently, maybe another manager, maybe if Rude now has got the full hold of the reins, maybe we'll see an improvement. It'll be extraordinary if all of a sudden, with Rude temporarily in charge, before they get a, a big name signing manager takeover, maybe if Rude all of a sudden transforms this team, maybe we'll just actually we'll just, we'll just stay, stay with, with um, uh, Rude Van Nostelboy. I don't know. But um, I'm hoping that Rude now can actually get these players actually play like a football team because that hasn't happened for such a long time now. We've been such an awful team to watch for entertainment-wise for so long now that you're literally you're falling asleep watching us. Sometimes there's going to be times when you're thinking, oh, this is it, finally, uh, I'm seeing an improvement here. And then the second half starts and we're shit. Or the next match, we're shit. And this is the way we are at the moment. So... I'm not surprised he's gone. I, I'm surprised he stayed this longer, uh, this long, to be honest with you. I don't know. Did he have, did he have some sort of on, something called on Sir Jim? Did, was it? Did he have like uh, uh, some sort of revenge porn on his phone or something? I don't know. But somehow he, he was Mr. Teflon Man for, for so long. But finally, he's been finally unstuck. And I'm just glad to see the back end of him. Just like I was glad to see the back end of, of all the other ones as well. Uh, the only one again that I thought should have been given longer was was uh, the manager who replaced Ferguson. He was the only one. Uh, but heaven knows how that would have turned out if he would have been given more time. Um, and what's ironic is is that recently, 
as I've got a little bit more time uh, to myself uh, during my uh, shortened days working in the winter, I've been able to go back in my whole co collection of uh, videos, which is stuck on hard drives, two different hard drives, of videos I took at the games during the Ferguson era. And I really, really think now, look at yet, looking at them, uh, how probably annoying I was, you know, doing all this screen, but hey ho, you can't help the way you... Uh, that you celebrate a, uh, a a goal being scored, but what ironically now I see at that time, especially in Fergie's last season, I don't think we knew Fergie was going to retire until we'd won the league. I think he announced it after that. Um, that I didn't think that we'd be seeing the end of us being a team competing for the league. That we'd all of a sudden go back to the team that I was brought up with where the only thing that we were good for is winning maybe the FA Cup or, or the Milk Cup or whatever it's called back in those days. To think that we've gone back to being the type of team that we were in the uh, middle 70s is, is absolutely extraordinary when you think about the position that they were in. And all these videos that, that I put up now, uh, put up that I'm putting up now from back in that time, even when uh, Benji was going to the football with me, and he never unfortunately made the, the game that we got 20 on against Villa. He never got to see the trophy um, uh, coming out for the 20. They got to see 19, but, but not 20. And I always said to him, I says, oh, don't worry, don't worry about it, because it says that you'll, there'll be plenty more opportunities for you uh, to, to go to, and see United and see us winning the league. Wow, we! How long's that been now? Has it been ten years? There's been no opportunities at all, uh, and now you realise probably how special that moment was. And I, and I, you know, although I'm glad that I got to um, see United so good, um, having a season ticket for twenty years or whatever it was, to just now look at that now and see the way we've come, it's just wow! How, how the mighty have fallen. I, I'm just hoping that. Uh, this latest sacking, uh, we may get somebody in who can actually at least get us on the road to improvement and recovery and at least in the Champions League and at least challenging for the league because to me that's what's more important to be the best team in your country is, 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 is something that we need to get uh, back to forget about winning FA Cups despite uh, despite loving it, it you know it's it's been the best team in the country then you can become the chance for being the best team in Europe anyway that's all I have to say so bye bye and um, see you when I um, get to um, put up some more of my old videos in the meantime uh, yeah let's just wait and see what happens next bye bye